Hello class, let's now continue our discussion in chapter 2 of reinforced concrete design which is review of analysis of structures. Now in this video, we will now proceed to in solving uh, sample problems 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. So given example 2.1, determine the maximum ultimate shear and maximum ultimate moment on a simple beam 7 meters long with end support subjected to a 25 kN per meter service dead load and excluding the weight of the beam and 15 kN per meter service live load both acting all throughout the entire length of the beam and 50 kN concentrated service dead load acting 2.5 meter from the left support the reinforced concrete beam is 0.3 meter by 0.48 meter and weighs 23.6 kilonewton per cubic meter use 2010 NSCP factors so this um, problem specifically asks for us to use the 2010 NSCP factors now it is always good practice to always remember the uh, NSCP factors. Okay, so this problem doesn't show the figure, so it is for us to to uh, draw the figure for this. So he, this is a simple beam, so simple simple beam, and uh, given the loadings, and what we are looking for here are the ultimate maximum ultimate shear and maximum ultimate moment so take note of the word ultimate there so it means it is after we have uh, applied the 2010 NCP factors so you apply muna your NCP factors in order to get the maximum ultimate moment and shear so here we have already have the figure okay so the beam the color green there so this is the beam the beam in green color and the support since it is simply supported so we have there the supports at point A and point B colored yellow now we have there R, R A reaction A and then reaction B. Now the loadings are shown. So from the problem, it says there uh, the, the beam is 7 meters long. Then subjected to 25 kilonewton meter service dead load. So I put their dead load 25 kilonewton per meter. So the, the weight is acting all throughout the entire length. So if you observe, so the entire beam is carrying a dead load of 25 kilonewton per meter. Next, it says there, excluding the weight of the beam. So meaning, the dead load 25 kilonewton per meter here does not include the weight of the beam. That is why I have put another uniformly distributed load there on top of the dead load 25 kilonewton per meter so that represents the weight of the beam next the problem mentions that there is also 15 kilonewton meter kilonewton per meter service live load acting all throughout the entire length of the beam also so that's why we have here live load of 15 kilonewton per meter okay and we're not done yet it says there from the problem there is also a 50 kilonewton concert concentrated service dead load so that's why i put their dead load of 50 kilonewton and it's acting 25 meter meters from the left support okay and then the beam 
the uh, the dimension of the beam given is says there point three and point forty eight. So that's the dimension of the beam. So let's solve for the um, ultimate uniformly distributed load. For us to have the ultimate uniformly distributed load, let's first determine what is the weight of the beam. So weight of the beam. is equal to the um, area of the dimension so you have your point 0.3 meter multiplied by point 0.48 meter then with the given weight of concrete 23.6 kN per cubic meter so the final answer for this is using your calculator Okay, so we have there 3.398 kilonewton per meter. So that is the weight of the beam. Since the weight of the beam is considered a dead load, therefore we have the dead load total. And that is equal to 25 kilonewton meter plus... 3.398 kilonewton per meter that is equal to 28.398 kilonewton per meter okay so that is for the total dead load now we will now be able to get the w u or that is the ultimate uniformly distributed load and that is equal to so w u is equal to using nscp 2010, so 2010 NSCP factor, the WU is equal to 1.2 uh, uniformly distributed dead load plus 1.6 uniformly distributed live load. So that is based on NSCP 2010 factor. Okay. Then let's just input W dead load. So you have there 28.398 plus 1.6. Our live load here is 15. So our WU is now equal to. So using your calculator. That is equal to 58.078 kilonewton per meter. So, we got the ultimate uniformly distributed load. Now, how about the uh, concentrated load PU? So, that is the ultimate... concentrated load so for ultimate concentrated load since the um, problem has a dead load of 50 kilonewton so the factor for dead load is 1.2 multiplied with 50 kilonewton so the answer here is 60 kilonewtons
Okay, so finally we are able to get the uh, WU and PU. So having that, uh, having these two values, the 58 and the 60 for the WU and the PU, therefore we now have a new drawing for the beam which will be used for the analysis of the maximum ultimate shear and maximum ultimate uh, moment. So if you observe, the PU became 60, a while ago it is 50, and then WU now becomes 58. Okay. Now what's missing here is the reaction A and the reaction B. So to get the reaction of A, we will have the summation of moment at B. Okay. Since it is simply supported, that is equal to zero, positive clockwise. And we have there is seven R A minus 60 times 4.5 minus 58.078 uh, multiplied by the total length then the distance one half from the total length that is equal to zero therefore the reaction a is now equal to So, 241.844 kilonewton. So, that is for the RA. Now, for RB, we have the summation of moment at B, uh, no, at A. I should say A. That is equal to 0 also, positive counterclockwise. 7 RB minus 60 times 2.5 minus 58.078 times 7 one half of 7 equals 0 therefore reaction B is now equal to RB is now equal to 224.702 kilonewton. Okay. So finally, we have RA. The value for RA is 241.844. And the value for RB is equal to... Um, 224.702 okay now for the share and moment now let's since uh, we have the needed uh, data completed so we can now analyze for the shear and moment. Okay, let's draw a line here. Uh, this is for the shear diagram. Okay. For the shear diagram, we have there. 248 at 241.844 okay. so I think let's try a different color 
241.844 solving for for the next one 241.844 so we have there minus 58.078 times 2.5 and that is equal to 96.649 so we have there 96 point 649 next 96.649 minus we have a downward force of 60 and then 60 and that is equal to that is equal to 36 point Four nine. Okay. Next, having the thirty six point six four nine minus fifty eight point zero seventy eight because of the length of four point five. So we have there four point five. 36.649 minus 58.078 times 4.5 we have their negative 224.702 so you have their negative 224.702 then having an upward force of 224702 then we will go back to zero so we now have our shear diagram next is the moment diagram the moment diagram so this is positive and this is negative M so we will start with zero because it is simply supported and then also this is zero because it is simply supported so using the area we have from the shear diagram so we now have the first moment at one half Oh, we still have to solve for the x here. Since we have there is zero. Okay. okay. So we will first solve for x. Find first the value of x. So for the x there, we have their x similar triangle theorem. We have their 36.649 equals, we have their the um, 4.5 minus x. So for this distance here, so that is 4.5 minus x divided by 224.702 therefore x is now equal to 224.702 so that is the value of x so we will now have the area for the first one one half b1 base one is 241.844 plus 
96.649 then the height of 2.5 so you have your 2.5 height that is equal to that is 423.116 of course, that is kilonewton meter. Kilonewton, kilonewton. Next, we will draw here in our uh, graph. We have the 423.116. There, there you go. Next, 423.116. Now to be added with the smaller triangle there. So we have there one half of thirty six point six four nine times the height, which is the x. The x is point six three one. That is equal to okay, so four three four. Point six seven nine. That is kilonewton meter. Next, four three four point six seven nine. We have there the next uh, area is a negative minus one half. Oh, forgot to draw. Here. Forty-four point six seven nine. So we have there one half of two two four point seven o two multiplied with the four point five minus the x point six three one. That is equal to. That is equal to zero. Okay, so we are correct. Oops. There. So from the uh, graph, we will we are able to see that the maximum ultimate um, shear is two for one, because it's the bigger value. Then the maximum ultimate moment is here, the 4, 3, 4. So we will now write, therefore, your maximum ultimate shear is equal to 241.8. Eight forty four kilonewton and then maximum ultimate moment is equal to four three four point six seventy nine kilonewton meter. So this is this are the answer. Okay. So that is what is being asked in the problem. Next example 2.2. For example 2.2, it says there solve example 2.1 if the supports at the ends are fully restrained so instead of simply supported the beam in our example 2.1 is fully restrained so you can expect that the drawing will be like this okay so it is now restrained then we will be able to use these formulas in solving this uh, problem 
in solving for the moment of restrained beam. So for the example number 2.2, we have here, um, we were able to compute for WU is equal to 58.078 a while ago, the Newton per meter, that is the weight the beam is carrying, this is the factored weight. The beam is carrying the beam green in the drawing, and then the ultimate, uh, the ultimate concentrated load, P U, that is equal to sixty kilo newton. Okay, so I think. All right. So what's missing here? For us to analyze the uh, shear and moment, so we're missing the reaction A, reaction B, and since it is restrained, the moment is not equal to zero. Restrained beam has a value of moment at the restrained supports. So we're looking for MA and MB also. So let's compute for the uh, ultimate. Oh, by the way, this this uh, moment at A and moment at B is already ultimate. Why ultimate? Ultimate because we are using uh, factored loads. Even this reaction at A and reaction at B this, uh, the answer there is also ultimate so I'll just leave it like that okay so at left support so using the left support we will uh, we will use the formula here uh, for the uh, uniformly distributed load okay so we will be using that so m u a is equal to negative w u l squared over 12 now for the concentrated load concentrated load here we will be using this one and uh, since we are using the left support so MA so here. minus PU of course the uniform for the ultimate concentrated load the distance from the left distance from the right and L squared negative 58.078 times 7 squared all over 12 minus 60 times 2.5 then the distance from the right divided by 7 okay, so using calculator So the answer here is negative two nine nine 
0.142 kilonewton meter for the right support MUB is equal to negative WU L squared over 12 minus PU now for the left support we have this so B A squared all over L squared and that is equal to negative Using the calculator, we now have the MU B so just two seventy one point five nine one kilonewton meter. Okay, finally, we were able to have the moments now what's left is the reaction at a and reaction at b so let's solve for the reactions so there you go let's write here 58 So, reaction at A, then reaction at B. Then we were able to solve for the moment here. The moment for uh, point A is 299. So, that is equal to negative 299.142. Then here... We were able to get the value negative 271.591 or let's just leave the negative sign there. Alright. For the um, the summation of moment at B for us to get the value of A. So we have the negative 271.591 kilonewton because it's not equal to zero anymore. Okay. So let's have their their negative 299.142 so how do I explain this part okay let's uh, remove there the negative sign here yeah, I should have removed it okay, 271 and then let's put here positive counterclockwise so that if the um, movement here this portion is uh, opposite with what we have made here then becomes negative so this one here is negative 299.142 now for the RA it is plus 7 RA then negative 60 because it becomes uh, counterclockwise 
4.5 then we have their negative 58.078 times 7 all throughout distance of the centroid 7 and then we have their equal to or we have their plus 271 because the 271 there is uh, clockwise 0.591 that is equal to 0 therefore RA So, RA is equal to 245.78 kN. Now, for RB, we will have a summation of moment at A that is equal to negative 299.142 kN. Then, let's have here a positive counterclockwise direction. Okay? Now, that is positive counterclockwise. The 271 at B now becomes negative 271.591. Then we have positive 7 of RB because that goes counterclockwise. Then we have their negative 60 times 2.5 because it tends to go clockwise. And then we have negative 58.078 times 7, 1 half of 7. Negative because it's going clockwise. Then the 299 is uh, rotating counterclockwise. Therefore, it is positive. So RB is now equal to so negative sign negative okay just change the negative sign so the answer is 220.766 kilo newton so we now be able to get the value here this is 245.78 then rb is 220.7 Six, six okay so our figure is now completed you can now analyze for the shear and moment okay for the shear diagram we have here the uh, positive two four five point seventy eight Two four five point seventy eight, then minus fifty eight point zero seventy eight times two point five a downward force. And that is equal to one hundred point five eight five. Next, one hundred point five eighty five minus sixty, and that is equal to forty point five eight five. Downward then forty point five eight five minus fifty eight point zero seventy eight times four point five 
that is equal to negative 220.766 kilonewton. So we have there negative 220.766 then an upward force of 220 will make it zero there Next, for the uh, moment diagram, but first we will be solving for the value of x here. Moment diagram. So for the x, so let's just write here x over 40.585 equal to uh, 4.5 see that 4.5 minus x all over 220.766 and for x is equal to 0 0.699 Finally, we are able to get the value for x. Okay. So for the moment diagram, um, yeah, this is not equal to zero. Well, uh, having the value here, of the moment, means that in the moment diagram here, the moment diagram, the moment is not equal to zero. Rather, we have a value of negative. 299.142 here. So we have negative 299.142. Then a positive area plus 245.78 plus 100. Point 585 multiplied by 2.5 that is equal to so that is equal to 133 so positive 133.81 kilonewton meter so we have the 133 0.81 Next, having the value of 133.81 We have another positive area So, 1 half 40.585 Times the x that is equal to so that is equal to 147.994 that is kilonewton meter next 147.994 Next, we will encounter a negative area, negative one half of two twenty point seventy seven hundred sixty six times four point five minus the x. And that is equal to negative two seventy one point. Five seven two. So it says here negative two seventy one point five seven two. It's not equal to zero because.
plus the value for moment for the left for the right support is 271 271 there so it is correct although there is a small discrepancy so don't mind that okay so still uh, let's accept that so what is being asked in uh, example 2.2 so say here uh, to solve for ex just like example 2.1 so meaning what is being asked in example 2.1 is also being asked in example 2.2 only a different um, uh, different condition so we're looking for the maximum ultimate shear and maximum ultimate moment so from our figure so we have now our maximum moment here at uh, the negative portion so we have there negative 299 and for the positive so we have 147 now for the shear we have the positive 245 okay therefore Maximum ultimate shear is now equal to 245.78 kilonewton. Maximum ultimate positive bending moment. That is 147. Point ninety nine kilonewton meter. Then we have maximum ultimate negative bending moment. That is equal to negative two nine nine point one forty two kilonewton meter. So this is the final answer. Okay. Take a screenshot this for your uh, for your copy. Now let's proceed for the example two point three. Now, for example, 2.3, so it says there, uh, 0.3 meter by 0.5 meter beam restrained at the left end and simply supported at the other end has a clear span of 6.5 meters and carries a uniformly distributed live load of 2.2 kilonewton meter. So, here it is. So the twin, so it says there, uh, restrained, restrained at the left, simply supported at the right. Okay. And then we have there the live load is 22 kilonewton meter live load. So it is carrying live load of 22 kilonewton meter. And uniformly distributed dead load. <coughs> Of 25 kilonewton meter. Then it, con it carries another two concentrated live loads of 40 and 45 kilonewton, which is uh, 1.5 meters apart. 1.5 meter apart. <coughs> Where the 45 kilonewton load is 1.8 meter away from and is nearer to the right support. So if this is 1.5, 1.8, and then this is 6.5, therefore the the uh, 
distance at the left support is now 3.2 meter. Okay. <clears throat> if concrete weighs 23.6 kilonewton meter, a uh, kilo, kilonewton per cubic meter, and the given uniformly distributed dead load does not include the weight of the beam, draw the shear and moment diagrams using the ultimate or factor loads. So it says there, uh, the, the weight of the beam was not included in the dead load. Therefore, we will be adding the weight of the beam here. Okay. So it did not mention, actually it's looking for the factored loads of uh, 2010 NSCP. So we will be using the 2010 NSCP. Now let's first solve for the weight of the beam. The first dimension of the beam a while ago mentioned there. 0.3 by 0.5 so weight of beam is equal to 0.3 times 0.5 times 23.6 and that is equal to 0.3 3.54 kilonewton meter. Therefore, the total dead load now is equal to 25 plus 3.54. Then this is now 28.54 kilonewton meter. WU or the ultimate uniformly distributed load is now equal to 1.2 uh, W dead load plus 1.6 uniformly distributed lo live load so our dead load is 28.54 plus 1.6 live load of 22 Therefore, uniformly or ultimate uniformly distributed loads is now equal to 69.448 kilonewton meter. Next, for the ultimate concentrated load, we have there both live loads. So we will be using 1.6 for 40. This is PU1. So PU1 is equal to 64 newton. Then PU2 is equal to 1.6 times 45 is equal to 72 kilonewton. Okay. So what else? Now, we will be needing to uh, solve for the reactions, of course. So, we are looking for the RA and then the RB. Since restrained support at A, therefore, we will be looking for MUA. But here, the moment here is already equal to zero because we are using simply supported uh, simply uh, si simple support in point B then using this uh, prop beam formulas uh, what's applicable in here is this uniformly distributed load here so we will be using the um, formula for RA Uh, for R, yeah, RA here. So we have there 3 WL for 
for the R. No, it's not RA. It should be RB. Why? Because in the figure here, so this is, this is the one being portrayed. Therefore, this formula here is for RB. And then uh, what else? We will be using also this formula because of the presence of the uniform uh, concentrated load. Right? For reaction at B. Okay, so for reaction at B, that is equal to 3 ultimate uniformly distributed load multiplied by this span 8 plus then we have there the uh, for the uniformly uh, for the concentrated load we have there pu 1 so there is two concentrated load in the problem pu 1 a 1 squared then we have there 3 L minus A1 divided by 2 times L cube plus PU2 A2 3L minus A2. Well, what is A1 and A2? Why am I putting A1 and A2? Because here the distance A from the fixed support towards the concentrated load for uh, the live load 40 this is the one and then for the live load here this is the A okay. And take note that we're not using 40 and 45 anymore. We are using the factor load 64 and 72. Okay. So that is equal to 3 times, what is WU? That is 69.448 times the span of 6.5 divided by 8. PU1 64 the distance is 3.2 3 times 6.5 minus 3.2 plus 72 and the distance there is 3.2 plus 1.5 that is squared 3 times 6.5 minus 3.2 plus 1.5 divided by 2 times 6.5 raised to 3. Therefore, Rb is now equal to 231.585 kN. Next, since we were able to get RB, what's next? Mm, we cannot still get RA. We can't get this one. Why? Because we still don't know what's the value of MUA. 
So we will uh, solve first for MUA. Now for MUA, we will have a summation of moment at A. So, so we have their summation of moment at A with positive um call this positive uh, counterclockwise so m a is now equal to so since the 64 actually this 40 here becomes 64 already is acting clockwise therefore it is negative 64 also the 72 and that is 3.2 plus 1.5 and then for the entire span we have solved for the entire span of 69.448 also negative Five, and then we have one half of uh, 6.5 then what's next uh, we have the value of RB already right so we were, we were able to get the value of RB as 231 and it's acting counterclockwise also so it becomes positive 231.585 So MA is now equal to Actually, it's not MA, MUA So MUA is negative 504.987 kilonewton meter. That is for MUA. So since we were able to get MUA and RB already, so finally we will be able to get RA. How? Let's have a summation of moment at B. Since summation of moment at B is 0, positive counterclockwise, uh, positive clockwise, so we now have here, since the movement at MUA is counterclockwise, therefore, the value is negative. In 07, plus... 6.5 of RA okay so for us to see this clearly then uh, this is uh, 64 and 72 This is RA and this is RB which is equal to our RB a while ago is 231.585 else we have a moment here the moment the value of moment here is 504.987 summation of moment at B is equal to 0, we have negative 504.97 plus 6.5 RA because it's acting clockwise minus 
4 times 1.5 plus 1.8 minus 72 1.8 minus 69.448 times 6.5 1 half of 6.5 that is equal to 0. Therefore, Ra is now equal to 355.827 kN. So, we now have Ra equals to 355.827. Eight to seven. Okay, so finally, our uh, beam is completed. The needed data in our beam is completed. Now for the shear and moment uh, diagram, because the problem, if you recall, the problem is asking to uh, draw shear and moment diagram using ultimate or factor blues so it's asking for this specifically for the drawing of the shear and moment diagram the diagram okay now this one here is 355 55.827 minus 69.448 times 3.2 equals this 133.593 So we have here one hundred and thirty-three point five nine three. That is in kilonewton. Next, one thirty-three point five nine three minus a downward force of sixty-four. Now, this is equal to 69.593. Downward. Next, the 69.593 experiences another downward force of uniformly distributed load. minus 69.448 times 1.5 this is negative 34.570 it's negative 34 579 Next that negative 34.579 encounters another ne negative or downward force 72 and that is equal to 106 so negative 
ko. Next, that force negative 106.579 encounters a downward force uniformly distributed load 1.8. That is equal to negative two thirty one point five eight five. Okay, that is in kilonewton. So that is our shear diagram. Let's proceed for the moment diagram. But first, let's find the value here. value of x okay. so for the value of x we have there x so for the similar triangle um then we have there um, 1.5 minus x over 34.579 so x is now equal to 1.002 meter okay so for the moment diagram again there is a moment here of 504 so we have here a negative Positive negative here. So 504, we have negative 504.987 plus trapezoidal area of the base 355.827 plus 133.589. Oh, five, uh, 593 then the length here is 3.2 so the value here is 278.085 kilonewton meter so that is positive positive two seven eight point zero eighty five next another positive area small triangle two seventy eight point zero eighty five plus one half of sixty nine point five nine three then the length here is seven, x 1.002 so that is positive 312.951 this in kilonewton meter so 312.951 So next, 
means it will be encountering a negative area, small triangle. You want two point nine five one minus one half of thirty four point five seventy nine. And then 1.5 minus x 1.002 that is equal to Encountering a negative area, one half of one o six point five seventy nine plus two three one point five eight one point five eight five. Multiplied with, I think it was one point eight. Yeah, one point eight. That is equal to okay, zero. Well, it is correct. Why? Because the uh, support here is simply supported so the moment at the B point B is 0 so this is our shear and moment diagram now as being asked in the problem so that's it so just copy here So that's our review for chapter 2 and uh, stay tuned for the next lessons. Thank you.